This is the mount bolt. We'll adjust the position of the derailleur here. These are the limit screws. They determine how far the derailleur moves sideways. This is the anchor bolt under which the control cable is fastened. This is the cage. And up here on the handlebars is the barrel adjuster used for adjusting cable tension. Our first step in the adjustment is to set the position of the derailleur. To start with, we want to put the chain on the biggest cog in the rear in order to avoid the effects of cross-chaining. And up front, we want to put the chain on the smallest chain ring, which will help reduce the tension on the gear cable. If the cable is still too tight after shifting to the small ring, you can loosen it more by unfastening the cable at the anchor bolt. Now we'll loosen the mount bolt in order to make the positioning adjustment. We want to position the derailleur so that it's parallel to the chain rings as shown here. And we also want it to be three millimeters above the chain rings. Then we'll retighten the mount bolt. The next step is to adjust the cable tension. If the shift from the small to the middle ring is hesitant as here, more cable tension is needed. First we'll make the gross adjustment at the anchor bolt where we can pull a lot of cable. Then we'll fine tune by letting the barrel adjuster out. And it'll shift crisply when the tension is right. Now if like here, the chain won't drop down when you shift, you have too much cable tension. You fix that by turning the barrel adjuster a turn or two. And it'll shift like this when you get your adjustment right. Okay, let's talk about limit screws next. Since the limit screws aren't always marked, our first job is to ID them. With the derailleur over the small chain ring, put your thumb on the cage. Take your screwdriver and loosen each screw a little bit and see which one makes the derailleur move a little bit inboard. Whichever screw that is, is your low screw. Let's say the chain keeps dropping off the inboard side of the ring like this. In this case, the derailleur is moving too far inboard and taking the chain with it. To fix this problem, you simply turn the low gear limit screw in a little bit and the chain should stay on this time. Conversely, if the chain doesn't drop down when you shift, the derailleur isn't moving far enough inboard. So we'll turn the limit screw out a little bit and the derailleur will take the chain inboard with it. Next we'll adjust the high limit screw. For these adjustments, we want the chain to be in the small cog in the rear to again avoid the effects of cross chaining. If the chain doesn't go up when you shift, then the derailleur is not moving far enough outboard. It may be that you need more cable tension, in which case you can let the barrel adjuster out a little bit. If that doesn't do the trick, then you'll need to let the high gear screw out a little bit. That'll move the derailleur farther outboard. If you let the screw out too far, the chain will come off on the outside. If it does, turn the screw back the other way a tad, then it should shift just right. If you find that your chain rubs the front derailleur when you're in high gear, that's an easy fix. You just turn the barrel adjuster out a couple turns. We're almost done, but now we have to go back and check the shifting between the middle and small rings and the middle and big rings. Any adjustments we made in the high gear will also have affected the low gear. You may have to go back and fine tune the position of the derailleur or the cable tension or the limit screws, and that's about it. But remember, adjusting a front derailleur is the most difficult adjustment to make on a bike. It's a trial and error process, and it takes a good bit of practice and patience to get the hang of it. So give it a try, and we're here to bail you out if you need it. I'm Mike with In Town Bicycles in Atlanta. Thanks for watching.